you know, Kadri gets a freebie. It's nice. Doesn't matter. Still adds to the, the uh, still adds to the total. I know the all of a sudden master. he's starting to pick up some goals. Yeah, the, the quiz master gets worked up about en- empty net goals. Why he doesn't think they should count? He just uh, was it Michael Grabner at twenty five last year? Twenty five goals, seven empty netters. So you know, does Grabner get paid at eighteen or does he get paid at twenty five? Yeah, that's an interesting point. I think he had more than twenty five goals last year. I, I'll have to check, but I, I thought I thought it was he a did. career year, and a lot of them were empty netters. But yeah. it wasn't a career year. He no, scored he had, 30, 40. He had 34 yeah, one year, right. or 38 one year. He scored 40 goals one year. I think you're right. I think he did have 40. No, anyway, Brown he had a really had good year. 30. It doesn't matter. But I would, I would think the counter to that would be there's a reason I'm on the ice right. with a minute left because I'm trusted. And what do you want me to do? No, I, mean, I get I Listen, I, I, used I to actually love them. It's like they're the freebie. I, but I you got to work for, for it. I argue for the case that they all count regardless of what happens. But in the traditional thinking, and I think the quiz master is a little bit more traditional when it comes to it, is saying empty net goals, you know, they're, they, they shouldn't count for certain things. And I guess contract negotiation would be one of them because it, Grabner had 27 last year, I believe. And a bunch of empty netters. Okay, he well. Had seven empty netters. I'm going to quiz you and pretend that you're the quiz master. Yeah. God. Did Gretzky score 50 and 39 or did he score 50 and 40? Because that five goal night, that was, was an empty, an empty netter. netter. Yeah. And You're that's right. one of the most famous goals in hockey history. I think the quiz master is way off base. And his buddy, who's a fan of the show, has got to agree with me on this one. It, it's not their fault the goalie's not there. Like, no. what the hell? No. no I, I, quiz master couldn't put it in an empty net on men's league. Well, I heard he's a pretty gritty competitor. No. Have you seen him out there? He's got the full cage on and stuff. Oh, you have to have that. I've the seen quiz him. master? I've seen the quiz master. I don't believe I've seen him. I have seen him live once play. Where? I, I can't. I, I think we. Why how the hell would you be doing that? that? No, like, I think. I think what, what happened is we. I thought TSN had ice or something. I, I can't remember. I've never where. heard of that. Anyways, I haven't. I haven't a worn a cage since I was a kid, but I haven't played men's league in a few years. Would you I, wear a cage in men's league now? My brother I, swears I now. by it because he's like, he, you can't trust these donkeys no, out there. You can't. I'm not losing teeth playing no. men's league. I, I would wear a cage. <laughs> and but there you the, go. The That's... greatest is you're trying to like approach a guy skating backwards. Guess what he does? He'll flip it right in your grill. Yeah. <laughs> right in yeah, your there's grill. There's no trust in a men's league game. No. I, I haven't. It's reckless. I used to, like, it was so stupid looking back on it now. When, we were, when I was in my 20s, I wouldn't wear shoulder pads or a cage or a visor. Really? Just cruise around. And I got hit one time by a plug. Some guy who could barely skate <laughs> turned around. And hit me right in like the chest, and it could have been really dangerous if he oh, had any shot. It you really don't would have been. stretch. My buddy blew out his ankle two years ago. Little cross check in the corner, wiped out, blew his ankle out, crutches. I had it's a, just this dangerous. Like, not worth it. Who got no. into a fight and broke his hand? The guy is in like oil and gas, high up executive. He has to have surgery on his hand. Yeah, because he's in a. A Tuesday night at midnight game and gets in a dust up. I would guess. Ten percent of men's league games have fights. Ten percent. Yeah, I've depending never... on the geography where these are, like well, if it's in Alberta, <laughs> is that what you're saying? In Alberta, I've seen go fights up in to Toronto. Sutton, Ontario, Keswick, even Toronto. There's crazy guys that I would, want to fight all the time. You get the beer play, league warriors. You get I would guys never who play a game. Like I just never would. No, I never see, would play I enjoy a game. I've enjoyed. I haven't played in a while because I moved and now I had my knee yeah. injury and all that stuff. But eventually, I intend on playing men's league again. It's a lot better when you know everybody. Yeah. When it's a friendly kind of back and forth, not even keeping score. Let's just get out there and play. It's like shinny more yeah, than anything else. Yeah, you just get out and. But you get them. guys that just can't control themselves. They start playing and they think they're in the NHL. They, they have want that type to fight. of mentality. Blocking shots. Yeah, <laughs> looking for fights and chirping the whole game. Chirping. Like, why are yeah. you chirping? It's Tuesday at midnight. I want to say you have three kids. Billy, you remember Billy Ranford? So Billy. I remember having a conversation with him when he just retired. He played defense. He would play out and have a little fun. He's a good skater and obviously NHL like skill set as far as handling the puck and stuff. He said he got in a dust up, <laughs> like because some guy was being a jackass. 
And, it, and I'm like, are you you kidding me? Like, why are you playing? See, I would think he would have a target on his back. Of course he You do. guys would. Like, if an NHLer showed up, there would be a guy who would think, and this is my chance. And it's not just, like, it, it, they're not going to say, oh, I'm going to go take that guy's knee out and, and then go brag to their buddies. But when I stopped enjoying it, it's like, you get the puck and everyone swarms you because they're like, I'm not letting this guy embarrass me. So five guys are right on top of you because they're like, I'm going to take the puck off of that guy. I'm not letting him toe drag. or And it's not even fun because you yeah. get the puck and it's like, oh, really? You, you care that much that I got the puck now? Mm -hmm. That's when it becomes not fun. Well, and there's also there's a, a tightrope act with, with quality players, NHL players, because if you act like a hero out there, yeah. then people hero. are going to be like, hey, dude. They take offense to You're it. in my league. Yeah. You know, like, I know you play in the NHL or you did, but don't be an idiot out here and dangle everybody. Right. And, like, take it easy. But that's <laughs> why right. take defense it easy. and move the puck and that's it. Exactly. But, there's, but there's, to me, there's no upside of that. No, there isn't any upside. I wouldn't you, think you're there damned would if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. So why even go out? Unless it is a friendly game with your buddies and like your buddies rented ice and you know everyone out there and and I just I remember going back to Alberta one time I was still playing in the league and my buddies had a nighttime game where they they actually all played on a team and in my mind I remembered these players like these guys my buddies that I grew up with on the same level as me I remember Bantam like. You know, my buddy Bobo could skate like the wind, and my buddy, you know, Katz could shoot the puck. But they don't do it for a living. Like, they've gone on to successful. They I lost remember all thinking, like, sets. Bobo can't skate and can't turn one yeah. way, and, oh, and he's out of shape. Uh, and it's it, tough, it was, it was, It was actually traumatic for me to see my buddies who, in my mind, they were on the same level at me, as, of me as at Bantam, right. because they were, but they... They hadn't progressed. Well, of course not. They're not practicing two hours a day in, but it, in the gym. And you're right. It rattled me. Yeah, well, you can imagine how it rattled them probably too, knowing that <laughs> they didn't follow through either. And you were the one that well, yeah, I seeped got through the cracks yeah. and you made it.